Will anybody be able to overtake her? Wario uh, calling for the genie of the lamp. Honestly, I might have tried just going for it regularly and then using my lamp to get two stars, but here we are. It's everyone's favorite. The genie of the... Wow. Um... Oof. And that uh, downtime between Mario Party 3 and 4... Hey, you skipping out on your exercise regimen or something, buddy? Jeez. I mean, you do you, man. No hate for me. I don't exercise, what am I talking about? Anyway, Wario gets himself... a star. Putting himself in a pretty solid second place right now. Uh, he's gotta get like a hundred and forty something coins to take out Daisy right now, but that's fine, it's fine. Star has finally moved over to the other side of the board, which means we're going to be seeing a little more of this map upcoming, hopefully. Wario paying a visit to the Lucky Lottery. Gets his ticket. Wario Daisy Daisy. I mean, Daisy is seeming like a pretty lucky gal right now, so I'd want her on my ticket. Playing a little scratch off. Let's see, let's see. Nope. Nada. You lost. Such is the way of things sometimes. Three coins to Wario. Donkey Kong rolling a seven. Honestly, with the way things are set up right now, Daisy is honestly has the best chances of getting to the star. Rolling high, she's out in the lead right now. Getting herself an item space. With the Mega Mushroom inside. So honestly, she could probably rush ahead of everybody right here and score herself a third star. She definitely has the money for it. Looks like we got a new minigame upcoming for our minigame of the round, Dungeon Duos. This is a pretty in This is a pretty involved minigame, honestly. Uh, players have to work together performing various commands to open up gates and help each other across. This minigame is really all about teamwork and how fast you are at mashing buttons. This first section here, you've got to lower the gates and let your partners through. So you can get to section number two up here. With the rotating platforms. It's all about timing and trying to help your partner out. Honestly, uh, the computer players are kind of bad to play this game with because they don't, like, stop the spinning platforms to help you out. You really gotta time out your, uh, jumps. <laughs> but, uh, they seem to be good enough at what they're doing here. Part 3 coming up. You're jumping through pipes, a Mario staple. You gotta find the right pipe to jump through, and that takes you to the next section. No one having too much luck here, but there we go. Next part, more of the same, just with a few more pipes. I gotta say, it's honestly really hilarious just watching them pop in and out of pipes like that. Process of elimination, it's the one up there. And the final part, the final stretch, you gotta pump up your hot air balloon to take you up and out of the dungeon. Whoa, that came really down to the wire, though. Daisy and Waluigi just barely sneaking out a victory ahead of the other team. And there they are, up in the sky, making their escape. Why were they in that dungeon? Who really knows? Wario, rolling a nine, keeping on going. 
has a lot of ground to make up as far as his coins go, though. He spent a lot of cash on that magic lamp, and then he had to buy the star, too. Donkey Kong hitting a warp panel and going backwards over to Wario space. So, not making much progress there. Daisy choosing to use her Mega Mushroom. This could either end up putting her right in front of the star or possibly moving her past it. But it looks like she's willing to take that risk. A 13, I think that's just gonna be good enough. Oh no, she misses it by one space. Which means that that star is a fair game to the other players at this point. Unless Daisy manages to find a quick way to loop around. Bob on Breakers uh, showing up for the second time after it refused to show up while I was playing the game. Uh, for uh, who knows how long, honestly. As mentioned, this is a game I rented once upon a time, but I did play through story mode twice while I had rented it, and I played through story mode a third time when preparing for this project. So it's kind of like, what the heck, man. Uh, even though you've got your own sort of column and pieces you're working with, uh, you really gotta pay attention to the whole board and your neighbors, because you can either use their pieces to your advantage to score a lot of points, or they can end up using your pieces to their advantage. And of course, you have the bob to look out for too, which can... When you make a match next to them or around them, I'm not entirely sure what the uh, process is here. Uh, they blow up, and you can score a lot of extra points that way. I guess they just gotta be surrounded by blocks? Yeah, I think that's how it works. But it's looking like Donkey Kong takes the victory here. Not bad for the gorilla. Even though he doesn't have a star yet, he still has the second most coins at the moment. It's just a matter of trying to overtake Daisy somehow, in some way. Wario getting a Mega Mushroom. His items are all full up of mushes right now. No one else has any items at the moment, though. Donkey Kong hitting this warp panel again. Warping just backwards. Just, just keeps going backwards. Cannot make any progress. This poor gorilla. Tacy with a two and hitting the Bowser space. Who's it gonna be? What's gonna happen? It's the big guy himself this time, it looks like. It's the Bowser Shuffle! One of my personal favorites. It's time for the Bowser Shuffle. Everyone trades places with someone else! Indeed, positions have been swapped all around the board. Waluigi is where Daisy once was, which means everyone else is basically just right where they were, except for Daisy, who's now in the back. <laughs> uh, that means uh, she and Donkey Kong are going to be racing for that star at this point, unless Wario manages to get some more coins. Cheap Cheap Sweep! 2P, 2B2, 2B2 time. It's important to note in this minigame, if you're playing yourself, to try and move around slowly. If you're too quick, you can actually scare the cheap cheeps away and possibly into someone else's net. And uh, I think I said it last time, but you can only have three cheap cheeps at a time, so you really gotta pay attention to uh, what you're doing and who you're catching. So far... It seems like the red team sort of has the advantage here, though Donkey Kong just scoring a couple points and tying things up. Wario just scoring a lot of points. Waluigi's got a full net of fish, though. Uh, there's only one cheap cheap left, though, which means that this minigame is solidly going to belong to the blue team, I think. 
Yep. That's the last one. No one else is moving. They know it's over. There's just enough cheap cheeps in the pool to prevent a tie score. Unless you don't catch all of them, of course. And Wario and Daisy literally both on the same space now. Wario has a Mega Mushroom advantage, though. And that means he's going to be stomping on Donkey Kong on his way through. No, don't ruin his 64 coin total, it's so perfect! Oh well. Oh boy. Donkey Kong up next. Finally getting past that warp panel. And uh, meeting up right with Wario. Daisy now suddenly behind with everyone else, getting a second chance at getting that star. Will she be able to overtake the other two players in front of her, though? And Waluigi using his mini mushroom. Looks like we're going to see another mini mushroom event, depending on his role here. Oh, but he only got a one. Oh, well. Oh, maybe he'll get another mini mushroom. Nope. So never mind. Next minigame, one versus three. Tree Stomp. Back to Tree Stomp. Perhaps this minigame will go on long enough this time to fully demonstrate what I'm what's going on with it. <laughs> Really just kind of seems like you're fighting for these monkeys' amusement. Donkey Kong slipping on the banana peel. Next banana peel bouncing right off of Donkey Kong's head. Honestly, with how... Oh, my. Waluigi, you probably shouldn't have done that. Honestly, with how awkward those tree stompers are to control, it can be a little hard to maneuver them sometimes. But, uh, when... The one player just runs right into you without really even trying to avoid you, um, you know. It's alright. It's fine. Wario with a, uh, I don't even know what number that was, I wasn't paying attention, but he gets right in front of the star space. Which means it is well within reach if Donkey Kong gets a high enough roll. That, well, that three's probably not gonna cut it. But Donkey Kong gets the first happening space. He's got to cast a wish into the Shy Kai well. He chooses to tell it about a fun wish. And he prays. Praise the Shy Guy. And yay! The Shy Guy loves that wish. It pleases him so much. And that's just about it. That event really does nothing except just decides whether or not the bridge gets flooded. You don't really get anything for it. <laughs> Though it should be noted, I believe these are really the only happening spaces on the board. So if you want that happening start at the end of the game, you've got to risk flooding the river. Oh, he does not like that wish. He does not like that wish in the slightest. It makes him very sad. And looks like for one turn, the river is going to be flooded. The bridge will be unusable. Though I'm not totally sure if that goes away at the beginning of the next turn, or it lasts throughout the entire next turn. I guess we'll see. If it goes away at the beginning of the turn, I guess that's just... Uh, I guess that just means Waluigi's just got to roll and then things will be back to normal. Skipping past Klepto and the item shop with his Mega Mushroom. And we're going to another 2 versus 2 minigame, which is a lucky minigame. Perhaps this will actually be a lucky minigame? Yes! It's worth double the coins. Let's get started. 
right or left? Back into the dark and spooky caves on our Dory boats. Another Mario 64 aesthetic with the Dory. Very nice. Heck, this could be an extension of Hazy May's Cave. You don't know that. I don't know that. But I'm just gonna say it is. Probably shouldn't set yourself on fire like that. It's not a good idea. Oh, Wario and Donkey Kong making a lot of progress, but hitting the flames. It looks like, yes, all right. They finish ahead. And victory is theirs. Very nice. There's a lot of coins getting tossed around in this game. Except for Waluigi. Wario using his mini mushroom, oddly enough. I guess he just wanna, wants to uh, get it out of his inventory. But if he rolls a one, which he just did, that means he just gave Daisy the star, more or less. He's triggering a battle game, though. Uh, hate to break it to you, but uh, regardless of what this battle game is worth, Daisy's still going to have enough coins to get the star. <laughs> Not sure what the line of thinking there was. But we've got a new battle game here. I believe this one is called Chain Chomp Fever? I could be entirely wrong. The problem with the battle games is that their names aren't on the screen. And uh, that means I don't remember what they're called most of the time. <laughs> and, wow. Yeah, they just kind of stood there and took that chain chop to the face and gave Daisy another battle game win. I mean, in Mario Party 3, Daisy was in charge of the beauty star stamp. Maybe these three boys just can't handle that sort of bewitching beauty. And they're just giving her the victory. In the lead with two stars and 184 coins. And another battle game. Donkey Kong not rolling high enough to overtake things before Daisy gets to it. Oh dear. This time, it's 20 coins. Not a full pot. Waluigi can't catch a break and hang on to his coins. Ah, and again, I've played this game about 100,000 times at this point. And, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I just realized I never really properly explained that last game, but I guess it was self-explanatory enough. In this game, you have to pick a perilous path to cross and try to make your way to the end before the other players. If you fall off, you will get delayed and have to wait a second to get put back on course. Really, overall though, it's just kind of luck um, what sort of path you get. Some are more complicated than others. Some you'll have an easier time getting to the end where it looks like Wario finishes first, Waluigi was in second, and Daisy is in third there. Looks like Wario managed to recover some coins from the battle games after all. The two battle games that have so far taken place this turn anyway. The flood has ended. Okay, so the flood lasts an entire turn from your turn. Gotcha. So it lasted as long as it took to get to Daisy's next turn. Speaking of Daisy doing stuff, uh, there's her third star of the game. Which... Donkey Kong unfortunately didn't get to, and Wario more or less just gave to her. And... 
Wouldn't you know it. And the next star is, like, right freaking there. So, um, yeah. Depending on how she plays her cards here, Daisy might get a fourth star and uh, further solidify her lead. We're up to a 2v2 game. Parasailing is coming back. Honestly, it kind of feels like we've played all the 2v2 games at this point already. We're only two rounds in. And let's see... How many coins our parasellers can get, and if they can crash into a few less things as the last time this game showed up? So far, no. Not really. You're supposed to avoid the boxes, guys. You really are. I don't know if anyone told you that, but it's probably a good idea to do it anyway. Wario and Donkey Kong scoring a lot of coins so far. Um, Waluigi and Daisy not too far behind, though. Looking like their Wario and DK are finishing out ahead. But, everyone gets coins in the end. Everybody wins. That's what's important. Everyone had a good time. And they got lots of stuff. They got lots of neat stuff. It's important to have neat stuff. Wario with an 8 rolling out ahead of Daisy. Donkey Kong with a 2 not rolling out ahead of Daisy. And Daisy choosing to use her Mega Mushroom. I don't know if I would have done that in her shoes. Since the star is like right freaking there. And I think she definitely just walked by it. <laughs> she does manage to stomp on Wario, who, from that battle game, just managed to score a lot of coins. So I guess that's reason to fear and try and knock him down a couple pegs. Waluigi making a loop around, but hitting a Bowser space. Who's gonna show up this time? It's Bowser again, two times in a row. How about that? Time for a Bowser game. Loser must hand over half of all their coins, which means if the loser in this case is Wario or Daisy, they are going to take a pretty hefty hit. What is our game this time, oh Lord Bowser? King of the Koopas. Fruits of Doom! We're not gonna get to see the rules. But in this game, Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong, Bowser is very hungry. And he lists off some fruits he wants to eat. Including all of those ones you probably just didn't see. Though honestly, I can probably slow down the footage while I'm in editing or something and see what they all were. And basically, you just gotta hand him the fruits you think popped up on the list. If you hand him a fruit he didn't ask for, then you lose. Usually the first few are easy enough to spot, and some of them in the list when it's going by are pretty easy to notice too, like grapes and bananas. But then you have apple and pineapple, and things just sort of start to blur together if it, when it's moving so quickly. See, Donkey Kong thinks Bowser wanted a strawberry. Hmm. He did. He likes that Myriam very much. Daisy going for grapes. I definitely saw grapes up there once, maybe twice. You can ask for multiple kinds of the same fruit. Yep, he wanted more grapes. Of 
course, the more fruits are delivered, the bigger chance there is of accidentally giving him one he didn't want. And I suppose... Oh, bit of a grimace there. Uh, he's not so sure about that. But he goes for it. He did want bananas. Yeah, he'll kind of give you a little... Oh, looks and not so sure about things to make you nervous. Honestly, for as simple as this mini game is, I love it. Just watching Bowser's reactions and stuff, and watching him fake you out sometimes. It's a lot of fun. Donkey Kong going for another orange. I don't know, two oranges? That's a lot of citrus. And he did want it though. He did want it. Bowser loves oranges. Bowser likes fruit in general, honestly. Perhaps there is a sort of a common ancestor to Koopas and Yoshis, maybe. They both like fruit. He did not want a third bunch of grapes though, which means Daisy gets torched. Which means half of her very astounding commanding coin lead is suddenly going away. Ouch. I mean, she still has 87 coins, but wow, that was a lot of money to lose. Speaking of making money though, we've got our next mini game. It's Gold! Sorry, I didn't want to really shout too loud and blow up my microphone. But, uh, yeah. Basic premise of this game, it's pretty self-explanatory. The team of three has to shoot some balls into the goal and score enough points to win. Meanwhile, the one player is trying to block as many balls as possible. Honestly, this is kind of a mini game that favors the team of three. You can sort of dive through and try and block multiple passes, but sometimes things just kind of sneak past you. Oh, but it looks like Waluigi managed to block enough shots, and he makes off with a victory. Not bad. Still in last place, though. Still in last place. Gotta, gotta do something about that, Waluigi. Waluigi. 